In this video, I'm going, to talk, I'm going to be showing you guys the formula and I'm going to be breaking down step by step how credit card interest works. If you're interested in increasing your credit score, anything that has to do with credit, credit repair, bad credit, definitely consider subscribing, hit the like button, you know, drop a comment. I definitely actually do respond to my comments, so that I would greatly appreciate that. But the first things first that you need to do when calculating how much credit card, how credit card interest works, especially for your credit card, you're going to have to find out what your APR is for that credit card. Now, this is going to vary depending on what credit card company you have and depending on your credit score when you apply for this credit card. So I have, you know, for example, I have credit cards that have 30% interest. I have credit cards that have 10% interest. So it's all going to vary. And, you know, I actually pulled one. My Bank of America is actually 17% APR. So that's the one I'm going to use for this tutorial. Now, you now that like once you find out your APR, which in this case it's 17%, you're gonna have to divide that by the number of days in a year, which equals to 365 days. Recap find your APR and divide that by 365 days. We're doing this because we need to find out the periodic daily rate, which is gonna which is gonna give us a huge long number like this. But you just get the first two digits, excuse me, after the decimal, which in this case is gonna be 0 0.046 and that's our daily periodic rate now now that we have this number we're just going to set it to the side because we're going to use this to plug it in our formula um down later later towards the end of this video okay now the second thing that you must do is that you have to now calculate your balance and you have to find out what your daily balance is and i'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that so the, for the simplicity of this video let's just pretend because i know a lot of people are in this situation um let's just pretend that you know your your billing cycle started and you already have you carry a you that you credit that you carry a credit card balance and let's just say you have a balance of 2500 okay and let's say that towards the end of the month towards the middle you started using that credit card okay let's say um let's say for the first 15 days you didn't use that credit card right so one two three four five six seven so for the you didn't use your credit card any of these days but you already have a balance of 2500 now Let's say on the on 16, 17, you know, throughout throughout the month, you started using the credit card five dollars here, ten dollars here, forty here, a hundred here, whatever, and and then you ended up adding an extra more debt on your credit cards. And now now let's say that for these fifteen days, you have a total of you made a total of one thousand nine hundred dollars of extra purchases. Okay, now we started you you started your credit your billing cycle with a balance of two thousand five hundred, right? And now you added an extra 1,900. Now we're going to go and add, do a little bit more math now. Now that we have the 2,500, we're going to multiply that by the first 15 days because that was your balance for each day for those 15 days. And it's going to give you a total of 37,500. Okay, now we're going to multiply 1,900 by 15 which is going to give us a total of 28,500 I know these numbers might seem a little bit scary and a little bit overwhelmed but I promise you this is going to make a lot a lot of this is going to make a lot of sense now that we have 37,500 we're going to add that to 28,500 which is going to give us our sum of daily balance which is, which is going to equal 66,000 okay now that we have that number we can move on to the next step of this equation we're gonna get sixty-six thousand, and we're gonna divide that by thirty. Why thirty? Because those are the those. That's the number of billing days in your billing cycle. You know, there's thirty days in one month, and that's you know your billing cycle is thirty days. So sixty-six thousand. You're gonna divide that by thirty, which is gonna give you a total of two thousand two hundred, and that's gonna be the sum of your daily balance. Now that we have these numbers, we can actually start doing a little bit more math. And we're, we're almost towards the last step, so this video is almost done. Bear with me. We're gonna get two thousand two hundred, right? And remember the daily periodic rate in the beginning of the of this video where we calculated. Now that we're gonna use that number to include it in this formula. So remember, our daily periodic rate was two um zero point zero four six. We're gonna multiply that by zero point zero four six, and it should give us a total of one hundred and twenty. Okay, that's what it what it's giving us. Now don't freak out, we're not done yet. So now we get 101.2 and we're gonna multiply that by 30. And this is gonna give us our actual how much interest we're gonna pay for that for that month. So when you multiply 101 by 30, you're gonna get 
like a four digit number let me see you're gonna get three thousand and thirty six now don't freak out and start pulling your hair you're not gonna pay three thousand and thirty six dollars of interest rate what you have to do is that you have to add a decimal between the zero and the three which is gonna equal now to thirty dollars and thirty six cents so for this month your your interest rate that you're gonna pay for this credit card is gonna be thirty dollars and thirty six cents if your APR is seventeen percent and obviously your balance is gonna have a you know a, a big it's gonna change so I hope this was able to help give you some clarity on how in credit card interest works. Again, just something that I want to let you guys know. Let you guys know is that credit card interest you get charged by the the daily balance. Okay. And this is why I'm a huge advocate of using credit cards responsibly and always paying off your credit cards. My motto is treat your debit. Card, I mean, treat your credit card like a debit card because credit cards are not meant to go buy the Jordans or some Louis Vuitton heels or to you know pay for a vacation you can't afford but that's not credit cards are in my opinion these are the two only reasons to use a credit card use it like a debit card or what for an emergency for a rainy day that's it definitely consider subscribing if you're interested in learning more about credit tactics credit repair how to increase i mean just everything when it comes to credit business credit i mean the the list goes on and on so i would appreciate it you know subscribing hit the like button drop a comment i wish you guys nothing but the best i'll see you guys in the next video